So today I'm going to show you how to build your own potato cannon. And um, they can launch potatoes about, you know, two, three hundred yards. So to start off, um, you're going to need some four inch PVC. And in this design I have two feet of it. It's 24 inches. That is the combustion chamber. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get uh, kind of a, I can't remember what this is called, but a kind of a collar, I guess. And a reducer to uh, one inch or one and a half inch pipe. And um, you're going to want to cement all that together. At the back here, it's another collar to, goes to four inch female thread. And that's all cemented together, just with uh, general PVC cement. And then for the back plate, it is um, basically the male cap, and it actually has a little O-ring that goes around it, and that really helps to seal uh, seal the gas in. The other thing you're going to need to do is put screws around the base of the barrel so that when you put in um, whatever you're shooting, whatever ammunition you're using it will stop it from falling into the combustion chamber but it still allows the gas to expand and pass through and you're also going to want to sharpen the top of the barrel so that when you push um, a potato or any vegetable, beets work really well uh, it'll chop it and make a perfect seal and then you can use something like this broom to uh, to tamp it all the way to that. For the ignition system the best thing is probably electronic like this. You can use a flint wheel but that's probably not as good and uh, to use this you just basically take any barbecue lighter one of the long uh, long gas ones and you cut the end off and you use the wires, the lead wires, and you can solder those two leads inside the cannon. And now what that does is when you pull the trigger, the uh, spark will arc between that one lead and the screw and you can change the gap because one is solid one the wire is bendable so you can change the gap of this the spark and then when you pull the trigger it arcs across and then I just attach that with hot glue and uh, electric tape kind of surrounding it. And that is the basic construction of the potato cannon. Now for fuel, you're going to want to use um, basically any starting fluid. And but it needs to contain an ethyl ether or diethyl ether. Uh, naphtha is also good, and that's what causes the explosion. It takes barely any of this starting fluid to fire off a potato. Basically, it's three short sprays into the uh, combustion chamber, and I'll show you that right away. All right, now to load the cannon, you need a potato or a beet or even uh, zucchini will work. Basically you take it, you put it on the top, let's move it out of the way here, and you just kind of twist it on, and the sharp edges, the sharp end edges of the PVC will, uh, will chop it into the perfect shape. So there's the uh, kind of the core and the potato is in the edge there. And I'm just going to use the broom to push it down. I 
and now it's at the bottom. That. Screw on the lid and you're ready to fire.